First thing is I already applied my Urban Decay Primer Potion, of course, for the creasing. And now I am set doing a base, and the base I will be using is Groundwork by MAC, and it's a paint pot. And what I'm going to do is just apply it with my finger, and then putting it all over my eyelid. And this is about two to three shades darker than my skin tone. And if you want to add more, you can go ahead and do it. I usually apply two layers. Now using my smoked Yogurt Decay palette, I will be using the color I will be using the color Freestyle, which is like a matte, like a peachy color, and place it on top of my crease now using the color mushroom which is like a brownish grayish color and then place it all over my eyelid all over your eyelid And I'm facing this way because I have a mirror now, so um, that's why I'm looking this way. And if you feel like, and if you feel like you want to add more product to it, you could go ahead and do so. Just grabbing just a little bit more, tapping off the axis, axis, and then place it. You could go past your crease; it should be fine. And as you could see, there's some fall out because these colors do fall out and that's why I didn't apply any concealer I didn't apply my foundation or anything like that yet and I am also letting grow my eyebrows a little bit thicker so that's why they're bushy right now and they look all crappy but yeah I'm grabbing a small taper blending brush I will be using the color back door which is a matte and brown color, tap off the excess, and then place it on the inner V only. Do not do not go past past probably like by where your arch of your eyebrow is, and then just place it there. And as you can see, I'm not using the tip of the brush. I'm actually using like the I am going this way, sweeping the color like this, making it a little bit more easier. Like that, and as you can see, it of course fall out, but we'll fix that right now. And then go back to the color Freestyle, which is was my crease color. I am placing it on top of the dark brown back door and the other color mushroom. Like that. And you know, just grab a big brush and just take out the fallout. We'll fix a little bit more right now. Now, going back to the color mushroom, which is this color. So, now going back to the color mushroom, I am using a what is this? A pencil brush and placing it on to the lower lash line. I'll be using this Master Precise by Maybelline and adding some mascara to my upper lashes and apply drawing my eyebrow and then put on a false eyelashes. I'm done ready. with the eyes and now uh, for the eyes I just went in and apply like I said some eyeliner on top and bottom. I drawing my eyebrow and put some false eyelashes and that's about it for the eyes. And now move on, moving on to my face. I don't have anything whatsoever on my face. No concealer, no nothing. So the first thing I do putting is this L'Oreal Magic Perfecting Base, which is like a really good primer. Um, putting it all over my face. The foundation I'm just using is this Nars, um, this Nars Sheer, this Nars Sheer Matte Foundation. 
Putting it all over. if you guys could tell but um whenever I put on my foundation I never put foundation at the bottom of my um under eyes because I just love putting um I just like putting concealer underneath there and make sure to put the foundation all over your on your hairline so you won't see that you have two different colors of face and now my concealer, of course, my Kat Von D, which is one of my favorite concealers. And I am the shade, what am I, medium 24. Putting it as a little, as a like circle and like a V. And just tap it. I only tap my concealer. Keep tapping, tapping, tapping. To set my concealer, I use this um, NYC Smooth Skin Press Powder. And just grab a little bit and then just tap it. Because I don't want the concealer to move. You bring it to like little V. Like that. And now I am... I'll try my face just a little bit with this Smashbox, um, what is this, Suntan Matte Bronzer. I will show you, but it's broken. I broke it, so yeah, if I show you guys, it's going to fall all over. I'm going to just do a little contour. And this is, of course, it's optional. You guys don't have to contour. And for the blush, um, I always switch up my blushes. I don't never use like the same blush like a lot. And this one, and today I'll be using Peach Twist by MAC. And it's just gorgeous peachy color. And I just add a little bit onto my brush because this color is very pigmented. And that this one literally goes a long way. Like that, and then to set everything, to set everything um, with the powder, I am using Revlon's press powder or Revlon's Color Stay press powder in the color, I believe it's medium. Yeah, yeah it's medium. And then just, I just tap it, and that is it for my face. And now, the final product, which is lips, I love lips is this color by Rimmel London and it's called yeah, is it Rimmel? Yeah, it's Rimmel London and it's the color Nude Delight. It's just a nude color. It reminds me a lot of Peach Stock by MAC. So and And then to top it off, I am using Floor Redundance lip gloss by MAC. And that's it, guys. I am done with the, my face. This um, is a perfect fall go to fall makeup. Um, it's very fast and very easy, you know, optional. You don't have to put on eyelashes if you're like in a hurry, just put on mascara, or you know, you don't have to contour your face, none of that stuff. But I did it for the sake of the video and it's very quick I probably do this like under 10 minutes I am done and it's very quick look simple and looks very elegant and very nice and that's it guys so thank you so much for watching I'll see you guys in the next video bye